What's up, y'all? So we're going to be getting into the stock that I traded today, my only day trade for today. Um, It was actually kind of late. I was just looking at the market, but that's one thing. I never jump into stuff that I don't feel comfortable with. That's how you lose money a lot of times. But I like the chart. I like the price action on this one. So I took a trade. So I got in the trade. If you look at the bottom, I got in at around $15.70. And then stock started bouncing off of the VWAP. So I was watching the price action. Um, I did sell a little bit early on this, but it wasn't really moving how I wanted it to move. So I wasn't fiending too much to, um, you know, sit there and lose all of my profits. So, yeah, I took profits when I seen that it hit the uh, the support line, the green line up there. So as y'all see, though, stocks are very, you know, you never know what, what a stock is going to do. This stock was right at that support line and then as it's getting rejected i started selling a little bit and you see here i sold that 1690 and about 1680 because right now if you've been in the stock market for a long time you've seen a lot of these stocks they hit that green line and then they start falling so when they start hitting that uh my bad i think that's the resistance um, once they hit that resistance they start going down a little bit but this one, actually, after this, it started ripping a little bit. You'll see it here in a few minutes. Probably took about a good, you know, three, four minutes before the stock started running up. So as we talking right now, look, the stock was at 16, and then it started going up right over that, that resistance line. See how the stock starts booming up after that? Right to the $18. So sometimes you do got to wait. But you always don't be mad at yourself for taking profits too too early. Well not too early, but at a good at a good point. Like when it hit that resistance, you know, it could have went down. You would have been mad. But at least you locked in profits. But I still had a few shares here. Not too much because like I said again, I just started um not too long ago saving my money up. I've been day trading for about two, three years now, but I've been on and off. But now I'm back a little bit. I've been Having a consistent month, so it's going great so far, but I don't want to speak up before anything. But hope y'all here with me on my journey, see see where it takes us, you know. So right now, though, the stock went up to about $18 and like 40 cents. And yeah, this is my only trade for the day. Ticker symbol is IPX. If any of y'all want to look it up, I don't know where it's going to be at in the next few hours or so. But this was my only trade for, for the day. I didn't rush it. I didn't um, get too scared out because it did hit the resistance. But I was like, hey, let's see if this runs a little bit. It ended up going over that resistance. And then by the time I uh, finished off selling the stock, it was around $18 or $18, 20 40 um, so we'll see where IPX goes and the stock was up over a hundred percent today. There's a few other runners, but I don't really like to touch anything that's close to like a dollar, two dollars. I don't know. That's just me. I usually like to trade stuff that's over four dollars. But this stock was up over a hundred percent today. The volume wasn't too crazy, but it was just good enough to give it some good price action. So, yeah, IPX is up over 100%. As far as the news goes on this one, um, according to Benzinga, um, it says IPX shares shot up 74% to $11.44. IPX agreed a scope of work for the supply of titanium metal components for Ford Motor Company using IPX unique 100% cycle low-carbon titanium metal. So... Actually, it looks like this company got a little bit of a deal with Ford, who is a, you know, Ford is a big company. So that was probably a good look for IPX, which make, made the share shot up 74%. But literally on today, the stock went all the way up to $18. So it's about a 100% move on the day. And it had good news. So this is the reason why I took this trade. 
It had a little bit of good news, good price action, good chart, good on the five minute, on the one minute. You know, you always draw your support and resistance lines, um, see if it's channeling up, channeling down, stuff like that. And then, hey, if you win some, you lose some. Um, but I took a little bit of a profit today on this stock. So let me know if y'all took some profits or y'all traded this too. But that's all for today. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And we're going to do a little bit of a recap later on too to see how the stock finishes out for the day. Still got a few more hours um in the market actually. So we'll come back and visit this and see how it finishes for the day or see if it runs for a few days. With that being said, we'll see you on the next video.